space going to do when our ocean level rises? For the first time on Earth, we're changing the gas. No, you're full of shit. Sit down. I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you. Shut up and shut up and sit down. Now, my direct answer to your question: If that were really true, would you believe? And let's just for a moment say that it is true. That means that the best scenario vis-a-vis global warming is about 10 feet raising water. That's the best scenario over the next 40, 50 years. That's the best scenario. The worst scenario is about 100 feet. But let's just take the 10 feet. If the water on the planet is going to rise up 10 feet, that means the southern part of the United States is gone. England is gone. Most of Europe is gone. And I can go, uh, most of Central America is gone. Okay. If that's the case, let's just take Florida, for example, which is one of the fastest growing condominium, beachfront condominiums on the planet. In the prospectus, when you invest, there should be, in the footnotes, if global warming is for real, they won't put it that way, global warming happens and water rises 10 feet, this investment you made is fuck all. Not one single investment prospectus written since 2000, this century, has alluded to global warming. Not one motherfucker, if it were really true, the banks wouldn't invest, the banks wouldn't finance. Not one motherfucking condominium. So the people that have the money, and I'm, I'm jealous of the Vice President Gore, I'm jealous he came up with a scam before I did. Because the financial institutions, the banks of this world know it's not going to happen. Otherwise, you couldn't get a goddamn loan in London. You know those 30, 40 year mortgages? The world will be over by then. Is Barclays Bank going to give you a motherfucking loan? With the greatest respect, ma'am, it's the greatest fraud that's been perpetrated on mankind this century.